Hey guys, uh, we're gonna do things a little different actually this video. We have obviously gameplay on the screen, but we're gonna be doing an interview with a rioter. His name is Ed. He is the lead for the rank team and we're gonna be asking him a bunch of questions from all the new stuff they have in mind coming into 2019 and let's get right into it. Ed, how do you wanna say hello? Hello, fellow gamers. <laughs> So, um, you want to give us a quick rundown on basically what we're going to be talking about today? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, obviously today we uh, just dropped our video and article all on position ranks, uh, kind of running down, like, how does it work? Why did we do it? What are the different ways that it might play out for different kinds of players? Um, so, you know, any any questions on that will be awesome. Also, any just generic questions on the rank system, like we've been talking about this stuff for 10 months. So pretty much anything that uh, about like all the changes that we're making is totally fair game. So for those of you who didn't actually watch the video and need a quick TLDR on what changes they have in mind, do you want to help us out with that? I know position ranks sounds kind of scary and weird and interesting at the same time. Yeah, so at the core, the reason that we're doing position ranks is because, and I'm sure everyone watching this video has like probably experienced this, right? You get auto-filled, you get your secondary position, and you're like, GG go next. I don't want this. This is I didn't I didn't ask for this life, right? We're gonna lose this game. And and why is that, right? Because you're worse at that position. You don't play it as well as you play your main. Um, if you're a, if you're a mid player and a hundred games in a row you play mid and then you get support for five, like you're not as good at support and you don't play that many support champions. And so I think position ranks at its core is really about just acknowledging that and trying to get you into better, fairer games, right? Ones that feel more winnable regardless of the position you're playing. And I know a lot of people would prefer that we just get rid of autofill. And I mean, believe me, if I could like wave a magic wand and make that <laughs> happen uh, without like tripling or quadrupling queue times, we would totally do it. But the reality is, uh, we can't remove autofill from the game and still give people the position they want without just dramatically increasing queue times. I'm sure like many players remember how long queue times were when we first did dynamic queue way back when. Like it could be that or worse and for all players. And I think that given that we don't want to do that, we think positional matchmaking and position ranks is like a legit awesome upgrade uh, to the rank system. Um, the TLDR is it's actually not that complex. Basically, instead of a single rank, which you have today, you have five ranks. You get one for each position you complete placements for. Uh, so that means a typical player might have two, maybe three ranks over the course of the season. Uh, but if you want to unlock all five, that's totally great. You can do that. We've designed the system in a way that uh, you, at the end of each game, you get LP for the position you played. A little bit of that LP will splash into your other positions. Uh, kind of just recognizing that when you play uh, one position, there are skills there that transfer to other positions, right? Uh, map movements and vision denial and all that and kind of the stuff. It's the basis like, of League of Legends. I was actually going to ask, is it possible to be challenger in one rank and iron four in the other? It is It is not. That would be, that would be, I think, impossible or very highly unlikely. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you guys have something different from when it comes to master and challenger. Is something like platinum yeah. and iron possible? Uh, it would be very unlikely also. Um, you're right that for Master and above, there's there's actually, it, it would just be impossible for the, for the single fact that uh, at Master, all of your ranks collapse into a single rank. Uh -huh. uh, but but even for Platinum and Iron, like the, the way that we, like it is technically feasible maybe if you like played one game at the beginning of your account and then never played that position again and then played another position all the way up to platinum like maybe it's possible but what happens is underlying all that we have five different mmrs for your positions that are actually kind of linked together and so we can sort of impose rules on what's reasonable right we can say well hey if we would normally put you in a platinum game mid We'll never ever put you in an iron game in another position. Uh -huh. It's just not. It just doesn't make. So you any still sense, have right? one underlining MMR that's just kind of more so hidden now. The fact that you have five individual ranks that show. You technically have five different MMRs, but basically, if you think of them, you can think of them more as ingredients to a recipe for matchmaking, right? We can use different sort of proportions of your different ratings. Uh, based on like how many games you've played in that position, right? How confident are we about your skill in the position? Uh, and, or what is your highest position and how high is it? Uh, you can imagine that like, like you said, if you're platinum in a position, there's no way you're iron in anything else. Like it's, it's actually just not, uh -huh. you, you can't name a player who would, who would fit that description, right? <laughs> so 
we, we can impose rules on the system that say, okay, well, instead of allowing you to get matched in iron, even if that's your MMR for that position, we can say, well, the lowest we'll ever let you be matched is gold or silver or whatever. And so, yeah, I think that even though you have five MMRs there, we also have rules on top of that that kind of help us figure out what kind of games should we be allowed to put you in. Makes sense. And it's funny you mention this because every time I got asked on stream or just in general, Buns, you've been playing League for nine years. How are you still interested in this game? And I'd always bring it up. If I ever get bored, I just play a different role. It's literally five yeah. different games in one game. So I think it's cool that you guys are now introducing this kind of concept. And I, I think that 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 really is kind of the secondary goal that we have. I mean, part one is, hey, just make matchmaking fair so that when you play a secondary or, or autofill position, you have a chance at winning. But I think the secondary to that is exactly what you just said, which is I, I'm in the same bucket. Like, I play top a lot, but sometimes it gets boring. Like, sometimes <laughs> there's a champion that's it's a depressing that I island. Want to play. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, and and honestly, I really love playing bot lane. I love playing ADC. I love playing support. The problem is, I don't know if you've seen many top laners play ADC, but like, <laughs> I'm not that I'm not that good at ADC. So, I, I think that like the fact that if I choose to go play ADC, I end up in games where I'm just like. I'm gonna get stomped this game. Like that feels really bad, and I think the fact that that I can't do that when I want to, or that I might have to create a new account to do that, mm -hmm. like that just feels so bad. Like I think if we can fix that and kind of unlock players to be able to play other positions that they actually want to play, like that would be good too. Like just that's, just I've, curious, yeah. how long have you guys kind of had this idea in mind? Oh God, like you you actually probably wouldn't believe. So from the first time that we floated the idea of like positional matchmaking and some form of position ranks this was an it was idea probably, it was probably like 18 months ago maybe wow. like we've been we've been building the system for much shorter than that like you know since maybe april when we started talking about it with players but like we had been thinking about and kind of working on different possible designs and trying to get people interested in how we would do it i've, I've actually noticed that. that you guys have so many ideas so early on in advance so uh what are your next five champions from now <laughs> <laughs> nice try um but yeah no a long time and i think part of the reason for that is there are there are complexities in in how we can make position ranks work right and i think a lot of those players have have called out which are things around like abuse cases, right? If you do five different ranks, then what happens when I just don't take one of my positions seriously and stuff like that? So I think mm -hmm. I think there were legitimate problems that we really wanted to make sure we had good solutions for. Uh, and and honestly, we've even when we talked about this back in April, we still didn't have good solutions for all of the <laughs> things. And players, when they called when they called us out on that, we were like, okay, we we got to like go figure out better solutions to these problems. Uh -huh. So I think the feedback was actually super helpful. All right, and my first question would be. Do you legitimately believe there's any way to abuse the system? I think that if you take away the uh, different things that we've kind of layered onto the system to curb abuse cases, I think there definitely would be. And the, the two big ones that just come to mind immediately are if, let's just say, in a world where you have five distinctly different ranks, there's no splashing, there's no anything else, they're just you play a game it ranks up that position mm -hmm. i think that's like you could totally end up in a situation where worst case i'm a mid lane player and when i am tilted and annoyed i go queue up support <laughs> and i just like and i just like throw games endlessly right uh -huh. because it's my support position doesn't matter right i think uh that's a totally legit abuse case that could happen i think we've tried to solve that through splashing which is like hey, every time you play a game, some of that LP splashes, like I was saying. And we've actually added some additional rules based on player feedback where, like, if you've lost a lot of your games in a given position recently, then that negative LP splashing when you lose in that position actually starts to get bigger. Uh... So instead of, like, maybe, maybe normally if you play support and you lose a game and your main is mid, maybe you lose, like, 3 LP to mid. Like, not a huge deal, right? Like, it, it still definitely hurts. Uh, but it's not like today where you would literally lose a full amount of LP. Uh -huh. um, but if you st if you continue losing at support because maybe you're trolling, I know no one would ever do that, uh, <laughs> then maybe that starts to ramp up to like minus 10, minus 15 to mid. And that sucks. Like, why would you, you wouldn't want that. Do, so do you think you can get to a point where maybe people lose evenly across the four positions just so they can care about that one? Maybe the splash isn't as significant kind of thing? I think it's 
possible that players could try to do that. I think one of the things that we are, I, I think it's pretty unlikely, but I, I think that one of the things that we're actually looking at, one of the reasons why we're doing the position rank previews in North America and Korea is so that we can basically test our hypotheses, right? We've done a lot of stuff with the design and we've reacted to a lot of player feedback. But the reality is when you actually kind of like put it in players' hands and, and let them go experience it, mm -hmm. we may discover things that we didn't think about. We may discover that some of the systems are tuned too aggressively, right? It's too punishing when it shouldn't be, or it's not punishing enough, or there's an edge case somewhere that we didn't, you know, address properly, or there's a bug or something. <clears throat> so I think like during the first split, a lot of what we're going to be looking at and a lot of why I'm, I'm super appreciative to, to be able to chat with people like you is because uh, we, we're going to want feedback basically on like, uh -huh. how does this feel? Does it feel too punishing? Does it feel not punishing enough? Is there a way that some person is abusing the system that feels really bad and undermines the whole ranked concept? Uh, if there are those things, we need to just fix them before we roll it out worldwide. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a possibility that, well, let me put it a different way players will 100% try to abuse the system. Of course, so it really that's just is gonna how, come down that's to, how it works when you have millions of players utilizing Exactly. Something. So really it's gonna come down to like, did the things that we did to mitigate those abuse cases, like were they good Kinda enough? Kind of work, I see, okay. Um, and if they weren't good enough, what can we do to make them good enough? And in a world where we can't do anything that makes the system stable, then I think we need to be willing to just roll back the system and accept that it isn't going to work. Yeah, right? that was actually going to be one of my questions. But three things. First of all, everyone who's listening right now in the comments, tell me exactly how to abuse this system. <laughs> uh, but but actually ask ask questions in the comments and I have direct line to these guys. I will answer them and speak about them in future videos. And the third one, or my third question being was what you just mentioned. Are you guys willing to say, "Hey, this didn't quite work out. We are willing to roll it back. How long will that take?" What are your thoughts? Yeah. What, are, what, is, what is the percentage of you guys think you're actually going to do something like that? What do you think? Yeah, so, I mean, that's a that's a great question. And I'll be honest, like, one of the most, like, tilting things that I see on, on Reddit or whatever when I'm, like, have my morning coffee <laughs> and, like, checking out threads is this whole, like, <laughs> Riot's just going to do position ranks no matter what. Like, they don't care, and it's just all an illusion. And I'm like, <laughs> what? No. Like, it, it, it feels kind of bad. And I think the reality is, look, we wouldn't we wouldn't make a feature like this that we didn't think was legitimately i've actually noticed good. that everything you guys push that is a big deal it's things like this where it's 18 months in the working to see if it's an actual viable option so the thing you guys push forward i feel like um it, it's something i do kind of often or often too where even though it might not look that good in the first month or the first couple months you know it covers a lot of the root issues that other people might not see, so that's kind of why you push things so hard. Is kind of the vibe. Yeah. Of uh, so I think the the reality is like while we, we you know we definitely wouldn't work on it if we didn't think, for example, like hey it was gonna be better for matchmaking. And I think we actually have seen really good evidence through testing positional matchmaking in normal draft that it it is an improvement to matchmaking. So like so I'm optimistic there. But um, what I will say is there's always a possibility that we uncover, I don't know, an abuse case or player sentiment is really low or any number of other <clears> things <throat> that basically make the system a failure in some way, right? It, it could be technical or it could be something with our player base. Hey, to be fair, and you I guys think, rolled back dynamic queue, so you can't get flamed too hard on, on what you mentioned on Reddit. Yes. I will say, though, that one of the frustrations, even with our rollback of dynamic queue, was we kind of had this experience where um, we had said, hey, we're going to bring back solo queue. And then it was a little bit of radio silence before we actually did that. It was at the end of the season. It took a long time. Huh. So I think to your other question of like, hey, it's like, first, hey, are you willing to roll this back? I think the answer is categorically yes. If it doesn't, if it doesn't work for any of the reasons I outlined or any reason that I didn't outline, and we legitimately feel like it can't work, like we can't make changes that will make it good enough for players and, and have players embrace it, then yeah, we'll 100% roll it back. And the second question then ends up becoming, okay, cool. Like, what is that? What does that look like? And how will you do that? And when? Like, how long will it take? Um, and I think uh, to answer that question, you can kind of look to some of the testing that we're doing on PBE right now because we actually put position ranks on PBE last week to kind of give it a dry run, make sure that the season reset mechanics all work correctly. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we're actually doing, hopefully later uh, this week, maybe even actually before this video comes out, is 
we're going to test the switch to turn it off. Um, and basically that is, that's our way of like giving players faith that like, hey, we've actually already built this functionality into the system. <laughs> it, it is possible for us to turn it off if we need to. And uh, what will happen when we do that, if we need to for any reason, is we're actually going to be tracking your sort of legacy rank, the one that you have today, in the background. And so if we, oh. let's say we get... Yeah, let's say we get two months into a test in North America, right? And it's like, this is a complete catastrophe. It's just not working the way we wanted, and everyone's abusing it. Is that revert going to take you back to your legacy rank? And legacy rank, for those of you wondering, is the rank you basically have now, the rank system you have now, is what I'm guessing, right? Yes, exactly. And so basically, actually, what will happen is it will revert you to what your rank would have been if you played all the same games but just without position. Rights. All right, well, now we're all scared and scared to play support on our off roll to have a little fun, okay? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, you shouldn't be scared. I think the the reality is we, we will ensure some things, for example, like uh, <laughs> if we do have to revert it, we'll make sure that like your legacy rank isn't substantially lower than your best position rank or anything like that. Um, so there shouldn't be anything to worry about, but like, I think actually it should give players some comfort in a way, right? <laughs> that, hey, you should be able to give this a shot and like, help us make it as good as it can be and if it just doesn't work out yeah we'll, we'll pull it back and we'll revert it and, and you'll still have your legacy rank you won't lose progress i think that's the important thing all right i feel like now everyone was like all right gonna throw every game on except for my main role now they're, they're gonna be Not scared to they might revert it <laughs> but um the first question comes to mind are the lp gains now i would say what would you say they were or are maybe like 15 through 25 right uh, yeah, I think the, the way the system works, you know, the previous season, I think <laughs> you could probably, you can definitely get lower, but I'd say on average, you're probably looking at around 15 to maybe 30 at the high end uh, as a, as for a win. Uh -huh. So a question that comes to mind is, now instead of ranking up one rank, you're ranking up five. So our LP gain is going to be way bigger because things will take a lot longer, obviously, to get diamond on every rank or something like that. Right, right. Yeah, so... We don't have a, there's not like a singular solution to how do we make the system less grindy. I think there's a couple different ones that kind of work together. Um, one of them obviously is splashing. So the fact that you get LP to all your positions on a win, uh, even though it's a smallish amount, that, that does kind of help reduce some of the grindiness in the system. Mm -hmm. um, but alongside that, we are making changes to things like initial seeding, like at the start of the season. How much lower are we willing to put you from where you ended the last season? Uh, we're also doing things like with the placements rework, um, instead of uh, kind of playing 10 mysterious games and then getting a rank, you kind of start after one game at the, the lowest possible point you could begin the season. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it's like every win actually gives you like crazy amounts of LP. I, I, in, from our team, I've heard people getting like plus 76 LP for like a win in, in placement. So it's definitely possible that you get a you get a big boost during that placement period to get as high as possible. Uh, and then wins don't count against you in placement. So that, that also helps. Um, I think one of the things that we're doing uh, that we've partially done, we're gonna continue to do at, as we start the season is adjusting LP calculation. Um, so we previously, you actually can pretty much you would cap out at 30 you couldn't earn more than 30 no matter what was happening oh, really? on your account i think what we're gonna what we're doing is we're gonna start by kind of raising that cap under certain circumstances for example um you maybe you're a player who was challenged that, that right? actually brings and, me to the next question because um yeah. something on reddit how someone was talking about they're in iron but in platinum games is that kind of something you're talking about yeah, exactly. That That's kind of meant to help address the same thing. Actually, a lot of those situations that you're seeing on Reddit ended up happening because of a small bug in the system when we first released it, where uh. basically if, if a player didn't play in 2018, but they did play in a previous oh, season... Oh, that makes total we sense. Were, we were treating them as a new player. It was actually all when, the Koreans coming over to play in this LCS season. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, But they actually weren't new players, right? They they had MMR from previously, and we just weren't using it properly. <laughs> so see. we fixed that now. It's not a big deal. The only accounts that will actually start in Iron are brand new accounts, ostensibly new players. They could be Smurfs. We can't really know that, right? <laughs> uh -huh. um, and for those accounts, 
part of lifting that LP cap is making sure that the Smurfs their get to where they should MMR go. MMR doesn't get too far from their ranking, right? Makes um, sense. So yeah, so yeah, we are doing we're doing things like that to help with some of the grindiness. And one other thing that we're doing that I think is is actually really cool is when if you're a fill player, which there aren't that many of, but actually like decent percent. For the high lambs out there. Yeah, that, yeah, you know, high lamb, yeah, good. You play any position in the LCS, no big deal. <laughs> um, for players like that, we are actually making it so that if you Q fill uh, in the system, then what happens is and at the end of the game, you'll get LP for the position you end up playing. But it's but a then, bigger splash, right? Exactly. Splashing goes up to your other positions, which kind of helps them kind of keep up. Uh, and it's just recognizing the fact that, like, that you were willing. Hey, you're a jack of all trades. Like you can probably play anything, and your rank should reflect that. Um, so yeah. All right. So I think that was a lot to grasp, whether it was from the position side of things, or just working at Riot in general, or random funny stories. Speaking about funny stories, is there anything you could tell us? I don't know if it's a funny story or something working at Riot. Just how would you like to close off this video in a different way from saying goodbye? <laughs> That's an interesting one. Um, well, I, I told the story to one other interview, so I'll tell it to you too. So. Uh, when we were working on figuring out the uh, the tier names, the new tier names for Grandmaster and Iron, um, I, wait, 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 pause, pause. I heard <laughs> Wood was in the talks. We we did we definitely did talk about Wood. <laughs> I, um, heard, I heard someone at Riot literally just said, "Nope, not gonna happen." <laughs> that was me. You can you can. Oh my! All right, well that's it, folks. See you tomorrow. Peace. No. <laughs> well, interview done. Yeah. So like we talked about Wood. I think. In all seriousness, while I personally embrace that as like a, a funny joke, I mean, whatever, I think the, the thing we wanted to be sensitive to was we didn't want to basically tell new and unskilled players in the game, like, hey, welcome to rank. So it's legit wood wood because you didn't want people to feel bad. Yeah, man, we want people to feel good. Like, and and so, so okay, so we talked about that. Some of the team was like, no, but really, can we call it wood? And I was like, ah, no, I don't think so. so so then we we named it copper tier and that made sense right bronze is an alloy of copper like it it seemed like the progression was good it kind of felt like a nice name and we even recorded the, our first video saying everything blah 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 copper tier wow and what ended up happening was we we kind of had a little bit of a dirt moment and we had not translated the name for all of our regions yet. Oh, and so yikes, when we, what happened? When we, when we put it through the translation, a bunch of regions came back and they were either like, this translates to something that is quite offensive, <laughs> or it translates to like something that just sounds really the like- struggle of being a global like company. It's funny that you bring it uh, up because in RuneScape, copper's below iron. I. Or bronze. Yeah, or, yeah it's just could have went full RuneScape. It's called Ru. I don't care. Just, yeah. I'm never gonna live it down too because I I'm the one who like made the final decision to call it Iron. So basically we we're like, okay, well we can't call it Copper. We like settled on Iron. Iron seemed good because while it does appear like later in history and things like that in terms of uh, <laughs> a refinement, um, it, it it is a, probably the most common metal on the planet, I think. And so like it made sense in terms of like rarity. The problem was we had already recorded a video, so we actually had to go like back in studio. We had to like record voiceover. Oh my goodness! So if you go if you go back to that first video and watch it, no uh, way, you guys didn't re-record it. It was just copper yeah, like you iron. Can, you can hear <laughs> like you can hear the parts where we say iron. They sound like different. Like the, the it sounds like it was recorded and dubbed, which it was. So um, yeah, so if you ever want a laugh, just go back and, and watch that and get a laugh. That's, that's a hilarious Easter egg that not many people probably know about. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And now I'll never live down naming it Iron Tier and ruining metal for everyone who ever played, like, RuneScape or whatever. So. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. After this Fine, interview, I'm going gonna, gonna to convince him to call it Plastic. Okay, I got this. <laughs> yeah, Plastic was another one that we actually tested. Oh, my goodness. We got paper, plastic, and wood. Everyone go make a vote. In, in the comments, which, which one's better? Terrible. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I, I appreciate you guys reaching out to me and other content creators. I'm sure the community is it's not going to be a train this time. <laughs> but um, I think it's cool you guys are doing this. I appreciate the interview. I hope uh, some people got to take away with some pretty cool facts, whether it was with Riot or the actual system you're implementing or whatnot. But uh, is there anything you'd like to say before we head off? You know, I don't think so. I, I think 
The only thing I'd say is, look, North America is one of our position rank preview regions. That's for a bunch of reasons that we talked about in our video. But actually, I'm really excited to to get it into your hands and get and get you testing it. I think the thing that that I'd love to impart is give it a shot. I think it's going to be really great. I think it's going to improve the quality of matchmaking. And I don't think it's going to be more grindy. I don't think it's going to be more complex. I'm really looking forward to hearing feedback. So once you've played the system, either on PBE or on North America, once Split 1 kicks off on January 24th, hit me up. Like, let me know what your feedback is. Like, we're super interested in hearing and making adjustments to the system if we need to. So that's all I got. That's cool. Um, basically, TLDR of what he's asking is, if you have an 0-20 bot lane one game, don't flame the living planet and give it a chance and uh, hopefully you guys like this kind of style of video. I know it's a lot different than what we normally do, but I appreciate you guys listening, watching, all that stuff, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Ed, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you guys. All right, dude, that's going to conclude the first interview. Well, technically, there's still a little bit more, but uh, I thought that was a good stopping point for that bad boy. And... Uh, yeah, dude, just let, let me know what you guys thought about that kind of stuff. It's very different from what we normally do, so I thought it was a good little mix-up we had. And um, if if we if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll post the second part to that video, okay? How's that sound? Sound good, sound good. Other than that, let's close this game off with some... Uh, Bad boy Silas, they're all coming bot. All we need to do is get this freaking tower. These towers are not my friends. <clears throat> I will tell you that much. They must be waiting down here. Okay, they literally see us all. That was almost very bad. Oh, give me a move. That's who I want to be, dude. Let's get over here. Okay. That's no bueno. Alright, let's grab that. One of those. Dude, this Kaiza melts me, dude. <clears throat> actually melts me but uh this game should go out with the bang <coughs> i'm strong i just gotta stay grouped let's go with uh thonking emoji let's go with this get some hp under our belt coming in hot coming in hot coming in hot Boom. i'll steal mummy again I'm down to bop some shrooms. Yo, that's what I should do. Grab um an oracles to bop this guy. I should definitely split too. Or pipe top. This is how you win the game, boys. Get over here. Get the heck over here. <laughs> I'm the better Warwick, bro. Sorry to tell you. I am sorry to tell you. Alright, Zed's dead. Mumu's not here yet. Oh, we should bop this guy. Nice. I want to steal this mummy. Oh my god, if I life stealed enough, dude. Let's pressure same time they must bring. Let's you kill me. Alrighty. They gotta bring a whole lot of people in order to kill us. Uh, back off, wait for us to go bot again, don't die. Alright, here we go. I call this the triple fecta super push ultra pressure. Okay, that's, it's okay, pretty dumb name, I know, I'm aware of that. But, uh, let me buy a spear massage and then we will be good to go. Don't die mid. Here we go. Okay, get ready. Dude, we're bound to get something out of this. We are bound to get something. Kaiser's there, okay. This is good, this is good. 
Ooh. Dude, that Oracle's coming in big handy. All right, one's dead. We're pushing. Nice. <laughs> I got shrooms blowing up everywhere. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Do I keep pushing? I could. Oh my god, this champ's busted. No, 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 no. gotta be kidding me. Can I steal you again? Thank you. Put shrooms everywhere. My ulti's up in three seconds. That should not be a thing. Hmm. I kind of want a moo moo. Go hard mid. Alright, I'm gonna pressure so hard bot that they're gonna have to respect me. Oh, Jesus. Dude, I have a mummy ult ready. Oh. No, if I connected, I maybe could have healed. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Pike. You bought I top. Here we go. Here we go. We got pressure on pressure. What do we buy? I'm kind of digging HP. Hmm. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. Why not? Why the heck not? Banshee's deal wouldn't get too, but this would be nice. Zenit. All right, dude. Pressure on pressure, boys. <clears throat> but yeah, seriously, let, let me know what you guys thought about the interview kind of thing in the comments, okay? If there's any questions you have, drop them in the comments. I will take the good ones and uh, ask him myself, right? And, uh... I'll tell you guys which ones I did answer. Like, bot. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. It's super pressure time. Someone over there? Okay, no, we're good. Alright, we will end it this push for reals. What in the world? You crazy, bro? Oh, that's what a little bit of magic pen will do to you. All right, there's shrooms everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Push hard. Here we go. This is our time to shine. There we go, baby. Kind of scared to go in. No, dude, this crowd control is killing me, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought the mama, a mummy ult would save me, dude. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. You know what'd be good? It's so expensive. A death stance right now. The healing I could pull off with this would be on another level. On another level. Heal for 15% of damage dealt. Yes, freaking please. The Namumu ult would have freaking healed me to full if I had that puppy while I had this ult going on. Alright, 100 gold. We should be able to get it. Should be able to. Right, go bot and W away when someone comes. Dude, this game's turning out to be the hyphy game. Okay, okay, okay. Are they going barren? They are. They actually are. Wow, they killed that fast. 
Jesus. Oh my god. Why are they? Oh my goodness, get this, please, please get this, please get this, please get this. Alright, they used a lot to kill me, we can pressure big time. Dude, this game is turning out to be a freaking hyphy one, let me tell you. Hmm. Oh, they even got a rift herald too? Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> we have uh, quite the situation on our hands, fellas. Let's five man group peel for me. Alright, new plan. New plan, new plan. Me five man group. Don't die, buddy. Don't die. We should be okay. We should be okay. We should be okay. Oh my god. I freaking died. Oh, yikes. Did we just lose? We might have just lost. Oh, goodness. Wait, we're still okay. Nice. We're good. We're good. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Do I need to switch my build? I'm conf Oh, goodness. A QSS might be nice. Timo's getting very strong. I did not like dealing with that guy. Oh my goodness. If we go in versus their team, it's a big yikes. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, all mid. Go. We win. Alright, I'm pretty sure we win. Keyword. Pretty sure. Dude, that was a fatty flash by him. Alright, we got shrooms on shrooms. My ulti's back up. Dude, I just gotta keep, keep stealing ultis, to be honest. I just gotta keep on stealing them. Okay. Oh my goodness, they don't die. These guys don't die. They don't die. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure we win 5-5. Five five. Huh. Thonking emoji, boys. Thonking emoji. We might actually lose right here. We just lost. Kill them all! Oh my god, we actually... We actually lost! Oh my goodness, wow, what a game. What a freaking game. Seriously, let me know what you thought about the interview in the comments. 5,000 likes, and we'll do another one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace!